Y'all dig what I'm saying? Welcome back to you again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. And I'm back at it again with another controversial video, man. So, let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this banger, man. Let's get it. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again. Another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? So... <laughs> Why did I bag my Camaro? You feel me? I'm just gonna get straight into this video because this is something that I get asked all the time. A lot of people ask me, oh, like, what was the point of bagging the car? There's a lot of trolls who ask that question. Um, and then there's other people who actually just genuinely wanna know why I chose to bag my car instead of going with something like coilovers or lowering springs. So coming in high at number one, man, is gonna be drivability. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I feel like any car looks good without wheel gap you know that stance it just makes it seem a little bit more aggressive you know it gives it that sleek look and it just looks really you know pleasing to the eye in my personal opinion now when i say drivability how does how does wheel gap you know tie into drivability well here's example number one railroad tracks hit the up button no problem going over hella smooth right now that's just you know that's just train tracks that's nothing like crazy you know that's everybody everybody has to do that you know everybody has to worry about going over a train track and there being like a pothole or whatever in between the tracks cool like houston that doesn't really give a damn about their streets you know and every street that you turn on has a fat pothole or it's just rough as hell and you're low definitely not a good decision when it comes to your car being your daily driver you feel me so now with that being said i'm speaking off of personal experience all of my reasons are from my personal experience my personal opinion you can disagree with it if you want to it's up to you but back in the day if you're an og to the channel you already know i had a 2005 g35 coupe along with my 2011 v6 camaro and what i did was i slammed the hell out of that g35 coupe i'll put a picture up on the screen right now I slammed it on bc racing coilovers it looked pretty good you know what i mean it took away from the flaws that the car had because the car had Anyway, the car had a lot of flaws in the paint, in the bumper, you know what I mean? It looked, I ain't gonna lie, low-key looked a little raggedy, you feel me? But then, when I lowered it, it, the fact that it had no wheel gap at all, it was so close to the ground, really took away from, you know, all of those flaws. And it made the car look good, it looked decent, you know what I mean? Um, so speaking from experience that car looked good however i daily drove it for about a month i want to say because the marrow was down when i was daily driving that car bro <laughs> what i say i literally went through four oil pans bro was it four it was four or five um in the total amount of time that i owned the car i went through five oil pans but while i was daily in the car um i daily did it for about a month and a half ish i literally went through four oil pans bruh because the driveway to my apartments back where uh, i was living when i owned that car was so steep it was ridiculous and then in the parking garage they had some fat ass speed boost and that stuff literally just driving in and out of that driveway and up and down that parking garage literally put a toll on the car itself I wasn't even on the main road yet and I was already, you know what I mean? Borderline busting an oil pan or messing up the sway bar. Like I literally ended up breaking the sway bar on one of the potholes in Houston. So 
with that being said i knew you know what i mean i love this look i love how this car looks however i also hate going through oil pans like that hate having to stress over you know am i about to scrape on this driveway am i about to scrape going into this parking structure do i have to angle how much angle do i have to put like you know what i mean that car was basically my test dummy um to say the least and so when i went ahead and traded in mamba and got i mean mamba when i traded in hazel and got this car i had already bought bags little known fact i already had the bags on the way before i even had this car the bags were for hazel i was gonna bag hazel i've always wanted to bag my car hazel was wide body at the time um that you know i went ahead and said f it i'm gonna pull the trigger um on the bags hazel was wide body and it needed you know the fitment just needed help it needed help really really bad you know and Dropping that car down was one of my ultimate goals, and I wasn't about to do it on coilovers because I knew, you know, if I lower my car on coilovers, I'm not gonna be able to go as low as I want to um, and be able to drive the car and not have to worry about damaging it. So I was like, you know what? Why not just go bags, man? Screw it. Go bags, save yourself the headache, save yourself the trauma of, of spending, let's say, carbon fiber front splitter right let's say 300 bucks i doubt it but side skirts carbon fiber 300 bucks spending 300 bucks on side skirts and a front splitter total year 600 dollars deep right your car is stanced it's low whatever you're driving down the street oh damn there goes a pile hole you look to your left try to swerve and avoid it it's a car right next to you what are you gonna do grab your old shit handle and hit that fucking pothole now what happened now you hear a dragging something scraping something's you know going along with the car damn what the hell is that oh my 300 hundred dollar carbon fiber front splitter then shattered into pieces on that fucking pothole they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine but you just can't get into it because they would never understand or oh my 300 hundred dollar carbon fiber side skirts then shattered into pieces because of that pothole it just didn't make sense to me to do that you know what i mean to go the static route so i went ahead and said you know what what's the best of both worlds for my daily driver a car that i drive every day in a city that i know has terrible roads and i want it to look good i want to go lowering springs and give up the you know the sturdiness of the ride do i want to go coilovers and have to sit there in the heat every single time i want to adjust my ride height to get it perfect with a tape measure and a spinner wrench like no i don't want to do that taking the wheel off you know adjusting the height putting the wheel back on then lowering the car back down and then repeating just to make sure that the fitment is dialed in perfectly no nah, man i'm good you know what i mean i'd rather go outside stand outside my car with my phone on the airlift performance app and literally just tap through and adjust which corner I want to raise or lower and then press and hold a button to save that height as my new ride height. When there's a pothole or a speed bump or, or a train track, you know what I'm saying? Do I have to sit here and contemplate, damn, am I going to be able to make that? Am I going to be able to clear that even if I angle the head out the car? Hell no. Nah. I just want to be able to say, you know what, let me push this button and raise my car up so I can clear it and then push this button and put it back down to my right eye, which makes the car look hella good. You feel me? In my eyes, it was a no-brainer, bro. You know what I mean? This is my daily driver. I cannot stress that enough. And I'm not about to sit here and drive a 2015 Camaro SS fucking V8 and slammed or static. Hell nah. Of course I want to take a trip to Mexico whenever, you know what I mean, whenever I can. Of course I want to to the drag strip and run my shit of course you can't do that with your car being slammed or static and i'm not saying that everybody has to go static or has to slam their car no i'm not saying that but what i'm saying is like bro bags are the most efficient um means of suspension to be in my personal opinion if you want to go low point blank period 
Then on top of that, when you get new wheels, if you're on coilovers and you get new wheels, you're gonna have to adjust your ride height for those new wheels. You know what I'm saying? Again, back in the garage with the wheels off and the spanner wrench and your tape measurer. Going through trying to adjust all the heights and make sure that they all are in line with each other And then you still have that one wheel that is not aligned That's always either a little bit higher or a little bit lower than the rest of them You know what I mean? It always happens. It is what it is So with all that being said, man I just felt like for me personally For what I'm doing with the car, what my goal is with the car You know what I mean? bags go bags or go home you know what i'm saying like this right here is one of the bumpiest roads in the h and i just went up on the bags right look at this <laughs> you feel me like bro do y'all see this look at how bad this is bro going at right height on this road i'm definitely tearing some up you know what i mean i'm definitely scraping some up my exhaust my headers you know and that's another thing that people have been asking me how do the headers go with the bags you know what i mean and i'm gonna save that for a different video but just look at this road bro like it's just so many potholes and they keep saying oh we're doing construction they'll do construction they'll start the project and then literally lead the project as is now that I've driven on this road, right? All the speed bumps are done. They're all gone. I don't want to be this high no more. Guess what I'm going to do? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to come right down here to my airlift performance controller. And I'm going to tap that button twice. As simple as that. As simple as that. Now the wheel gap is all gone. You feel me? So in conclusion, man, I personally feel like bags was the best option me and my build now you may feel differently you may feel coilovers is the best option for you in your build you may feel lowering springs is the best option for you in your build and you know i'm not here to knock that i'm not the guy that's in the forums typing away saying that you're an idiot because you chose the form of suspension that was best for you and your car and you spent your money on it I'm not that guy, you know what I mean? There's a lot of those though. Y'all see them. <laughs> but without further ado, man, y'all let me know down in the comment section down below what team are you guys on? Are you guys on the bag team? Are you guys on the coilover team? Are y'all team boring springs? Are y'all team stock boy? You feel me? Let me know down in the comment section down below. But without further ado, man, that's gonna be it for this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Drop your comments in the comment section down below. Like I said, I really want to know. I'm honest. I'm going to be honest. This is one of those times where I'm asking y'all for y'all's opinion. It actually matters. Without further ado, that's going to be it for this one. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.